if you recognize me, blink once. You only get one of these in a lifetime. Love you. Love you too. The reason that I can carry on, it's because of family, community, and love. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions, The Breeze, where we bring you the latest in independent films and film festival news. And we have uh, director and MSNBC anchor Richard Liu here with us today to talk about his upcoming film, Unconditional. How are you, hey, Alex? How's it going? Thanks for uh, taking me to The Breeze. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming on today to, uh, to talk about your film. So we'll kick it off and uh, tell us a little bit about Unconditional. Uh, yeah, Unconditional is a uh, feature documentary. We filmed it over seven years. Uh, we believe it's the first type of its uh, documentary, meaning we covered uh, mental health in caregiving. Uh, and both of those are very big topics. And we uh, brought along some folks that we thought really cared about it uh, with us, like Maria Shriver, uh, Lauren Miller Rogan, uh, Montel Williams, uh, Lori Hernandez, the gold medalist, uh, all of which understood the caregiving, the mental health, the Alzheimer's dementia, all yeah. of which is part of this. The film tries to do something super difficult, mm -hmm. yet super common. And that is talk about mental health and caregiving and Alzheimer's dementia, but there's a hundred million of us going through it. So there you have it, something that is really big. A lot of us are going through it, but it seems difficult. Yeah, uh, I, I had a very deep connection with this, as I was telling you before, that I, I personally had that experience with my grandparents when it came to Alzheimer's. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like there should be more attention towards this issue because, there, like you said, that with that amount of number of people suffering through it, it is sadly a common issue. Uh, then you also have some other families that are involved in it and issues that deals with PTSD and caregiving as well yeah. as cancer and caregiving. Yeah. So uh, how did you find the subjects to include for, with this documentary? Whew. Well, uh, as you know, some of the the in, in the sort of verite space, it takes a long time, which I think you're definitely keying in on here because of what you do. Um, you know, film, you know, documentaries is that finding the right subjects. And uh, over the course of me learning about my own journey through physical and mental health challenges and how it was, I was taking a toll on me as I started to reach out to others is uh, I found organizations and I found people. And so the organizations and the people for two or three years in the beginning gave me, hey, Richard, talk to this person, talk to that person. Uh, how about this organization? And even after the number of years we've been working on this project, I know I've only hit the proverbial tip of the iceberg because it is these organizations on the ground in all of our cities, all of our localities in, in the country, this great country that do the work, that help us, that are our emotional uh, backstop. And those are the groups that help me find the subjects and help yeah. me to understand how to talk about it. I'm a novice, right? I'm not an expert when I'm as a journalist that is trying to explore a topic that is way above my pay grade but I knew as a journalist, I, I, I felt okay attacking it, Alex, as, a, as an everyday person, as an everyday journalist. Yeah, you, uh, you asked some hard-hitting questions towards a very sensitive matter with a lot of these people. Uh, wh did, was it easy for them to open up to you or did that take some time because these are, you know, yeah. the issues are very dear to them, sensitive? Yes and yes. Uh, there are times where it was difficult. Uh, where we'd go back and ask the same question different way, or I would ask the question because I asked all the questions um, and uh, with the team, like I, the team also would ask questions. So my, my approach is, uh, except for one interview where I actually had to fly back to take care of my dad, my yeah. team had worked with me for so long. I said, I'm sorry, I got to go. My dad's going to the hospital and we've set up, it was with Kate Hendricks, uh, Thomas, the Thomas family in Virginia, the third family, uh, one of the three families. And I was just about to fly out with the team. Um, and I got the call that I had to go back to take care of my dad because he was hitting towards, uh, he passed a year ago. And during that last year before he passed, there the number of times he went to the hospital, we didn't know, right? Which I know you understand too, Alex. Yeah. And 
So uh, the team, most of the, the, we had worked so closely together, which tells you about um, what we all learned together, I guess, uh, uh, to, to approach people in a more caring way that we didn't have before we started the project. And so the subjects, when we would speak with them, I would let them know up front, I'm walking by your shoulder. I understand. I'm from a different city. Um, I do a different uh, job than you do. Uh, I have a different upbringing. Um, all these things that might be different. But the one thing I know when I see you is that we're the same in a certain part of our humanity. That is a big part of what we do every day. And as simple and as, you know, um, some people say trite, it's, but it's real is we were sharing how we care for other people, especially the ones that are close to us. And, and that meant, Alex, when I would ask a question, that we would hit the ground running. Like there were times where I couldn't believe the amount of openness and vulnerability um, that we, were, we had with each other. And that is, I mean, there's few things I think uh, we appreciate more as we lament the times we've gone through as we take catalog of what we've gone through then those moments where uh human to human is real honest genuine vulnerability and acceptance of that vulnerability vulnerability and then i'll i'll, I'll say this you being a, a journalist and storyteller too is that i understood what they were giving me and i told the entire team this i said you our approach to reaching out to these families and these subjects is they're giving us a gift and we must guard it until the very end of the process. We're not going to give it to anybody else. We're not going to say we don't care about it anymore. And I told the, the family members, the subjects this, I said, I will be there to the last step. I will sit with the editors. I will sit when I go on air. I will be there for this storyline all the way through. And I think just to take it back to our day to day and what film can teach us and what it taught me is I really care about the stories people share with me more than before because they're giving me something. Yeah, you you definitely put a lot of care into it. You also bring down people's walls and guards so that they can share their pain with a, a type of therapy for, for what they're going through. It may not be uh, exactly what they're going through, but it's in a different realm, but everyone still feels pain. And when that's shared, it can be a good therapy. And uh, it was very insightful to me seeing what you did, uh, sharing your story, being very uh, personable and being very raw and real, like you said. I mean, docs have a tendency to do that where nothing is a fabrication. You're just experiencing life and everything that you go through. And this is very painful at times, but also informative and educational. I, I learned a lot from watching it. Uh, and at the end, also, when you talk about what happens with these families, there was some more heartbreak there, but then also some hope. Uh, with the research that goes into the things that are are being uh, you know worked on to be fixed, and uh, I, I thought the film was was wonderful and it, it struck a chord with me, which is why I wanted to reach out and talk with you today about it. But um, for those that are interested to finding out more about Unconditional, where can they go to to find out more about the film? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. Our big focus on it, Alex, as you saw, is to show dis joy despite difficulty, mm -hmm. and you saw some laughs in there. Uh, you saw yeah, some expressions of both the tough stuff and the good stuff. And I think one of the things I learned along the way was, you know, don't wait for the tough stuff to go away before living the good stuff. That we got to live the good stuff along with the tough stuff. It's not like we can do that and then that. It's a lot like what people say, do you build first and then give later? And I would say you must give and go at the same time. You must don't 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 try to separate give and go uh, live and build whichever way you want to say it, and if you want to see what that that process is like for families as they go through these role changes that's unconditional movie.com and um, it is uh, AMC theaters PBS uh, throughout the country and local check your local listings, as they say, yes. and yes, as well yes. as online in a PBS uh, passport. We'll also be going out to the streamers later on, and uh, we're doing a community impact campaign over the coming months. We'll, we'll go to AMC theaters and we'll have some programming. We'll also be, and this is the first time I'm saying it on mic to you, Alex. So here's yeah. uh, the breaking news 
Ooh. is that we will be showing the film at the White House movie theater. Wow. Uh, and that is something special because um, it shows that we're talking about the right thing and people care about the right thing. And this White House does, and they've decided the first lady will be greeting us and we will be showing this uh, to other caregivers at the White House. So we're, we're very humbled uh, by the first lady and everybody else for, for doing this. Wow. That is, that is some serious news. Congratulations to that. And, uh, a special, I guess, thank you to Dr. Jill Biden for, uh, you know, putting, putting that together to screen at the white house. Um, I wish you all the success, uh, for that. And that I hope, uh, it shines a light on these issues, which, uh, your documentary focuses on Alzheimer's PTSD and, and cancer as well. Uh, so I think it's very educational, very insightful and very human. Uh, of a doc. So I want to thank you today for taking the time to speak with me, uh, Richard Liu, about your film, Unconditional. Alex, appreciate it. Go the breeze. Woo! Woo! <laughs>